So, continuing with our little tutorial on the StarTech capture card. In this video, we're going to take a look at Amarec. You can get this program from this link here, which I'll put in the video description. And I've already installed it, so I'm going to just double click it to load it. Now, Amarec gives you a lot more control over the recording process. So let's set it up. First of all you right click and you choose config. Right, and as you can see there's a lot more options this time so I'm just going to go over the important ones. First of all on the general tab you can set the path that you use for your recordings so obviously point that to a drive with lots of free space then moving on to graph 1 here, there's some important options here. If you click on device setting, obviously you can choose your capture card if you've got more than one, but click on device setting. Now not only can you choose which input to capture from, but if you go to video proc amp here, you can tweak the brightness and the contrast of the image so you can reduce the brightness if it's slightly too bright as it was in my case and you can play with these other values as well but um, hue saturation don't tend to do anything on RGB that's more for S video and I didn't seem to make any difference changing these either but so anyway that's something you can do on Amarec that you can't do with the standard software so I'm just going to click OK now Amarec doesn't automatically detect the video format like Video Keeper, so you'll need to enter it manually here. For a 240p source you enter 720, W equals 720 for width, then 240, FPS 59.94. Now the card can only capture in YUY2, which is a colour space basically, so leave these values as they are. Okay, so we'll move on to Graph 2 tab now. And there's a few settings we can set in here. Obviously, you can set the aspect ratio, de interlacing mode, and rotation. And most importantly, is this scanline doubler function here. Now, unlike Video Keeper, you can choose whether you're going to automatically line double or not. So if you want to automatically line double the capture, you can switch this on to enable and then you need to make sure under recording that you set filter on. So if you don't want to automatically line double, if you prefer to do it yourself later in virtual dub or just override the aspect ratio settings in your player, you can switch that off. But it's entirely up to you. OK, so the last option you might want to tinker with is the video compressor over here on the Recording tab. Amarec has built-in support for the AMV2 and AMV3 codecs, though the free versions of these codecs will leave a watermark on your videos. You can also select Other Codec here. Then by clicking Update Codec List, you can see all the available codecs on your system. Now I'm using this codec called Lagarith here which produces quite good results and it's lossless so it's a great format for recording in if you want to edit later. That's, just click on the settings, they're fairly easy to set up. Um, you can use multi-threading to improve performance and for most editing software you can enable this null frames feature as well. So I'll we'll enable that and click OK and just like in Video Keeper you can also take screenshots by default you can only choose BMP but obviously you can convert that later in any paint package you like right so we're about ready to make a test recording I'm going to enable the scanline doubler click OK and then all I need to do is press the record button here 
and then press it again to stop. It's actually opened me up directly in my recordings directory. So this is directory opus, not Windows Explorer, but it doesn't really matter. So if we find the recording I just made, it should be that one. Double click it. Ah, what I've just noticed is that I've actually left one of the options set from a previous session. That I'll just quickly show you. And that's this option here, which is Mixer. So you can actually record a commentary over the video. So what you might have just heard then is me talking over myself. So something to be aware of if you don't want to record over the video, make sure that's deselected. OK, so our capture looks pretty good. You can now edit this with something like Virtual Dub or simply archive it away. Um, if you record with Lagarith, you'll need to convert that to another format before you upload to somewhere like YouTube. And I'll look at doing that in the next video.